hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, what is good, Raven fam? Ooh, my voice is starting to come back a little bit. All right, so we are on a bye. We are on a bye week, y'all. Trying to relax, stress free week. Stress free week. Finally, the Ravens are nine and three, number one seed in the AFC. <clears throat> I, I could care less about the seeding charts right now. In my opinion, right now, I could care less about the seeding charts. As long as Ravens make the playoffs and do damage in the playoffs. After 2019, that number one seed stuff really doesn't matter to me. As long as Ravens make the playoffs and do damage in the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. Now, got that out the way. We are on a bye week, stress-free week, as I'm going to call it. Now, the things that I believe the Ravens have to work on. Number one overall is offensive line. The offensive line. I believe if Lamar, on some occasions, he's held the ball a little bit too long, but on some occasions as well, the offensive line is not giving him enough time to look at the second, the second um, person he's supposed to look at to throw the ball to. He sometimes has to look at one and that's it. But hopefully they figure out something out. Like I seen they interview uh the Sunday night football. Lamar is talking about consistency. And the guy asked him, What's the Ravens will win the Super Bowl by having blank. And he said consistency. And that was right on point. Consistency. Defense have been playing consistent. If the offense can catch up with the defense and play dominant, oh, man. We're going to be seeing some things we ain't never seen before. Some things we have never seen before. So I'm hoping this bye week, they, we just see a whole new offense. Defense continue being dominant, then that's how you know the offense being dominant. Where we can see that Ravens and Eagles in the Super Bowl, Ravens and 40 or 49ers in the Super Bowl. Those are my two picks, by the way. Um, But, yeah. Yeah. The 9 and 3. She'll be really undefeated. Now, they have a strong task coming up. They have a strong task coming up right after the Rams Jaguars Christmas Day 49ers right after that Dolphins pretty much New Year's Eve New Year's Day kind of type thing then you got the Steelers so to me that's it's a difficult schedule but to me, that's the word. The defense can even mesh even more, get everything ready for the playoffs. Because possibly you're going to see the Dolphins in the playoffs, maybe the Steelers in the playoffs, the Jaguars in the playoffs. It's harder to beat a team twice. And, and, it's, and that's going to be hard. But. If the offense can start gelling and do it consistency, consistently throughout those weeks, all the way to the playoffs, all the way to the Super Bowl, it's going to be special. It's going to be special. So tell me what y'all think. What y'all think the Ravens in the bye week need to work on? And also special teams, Justin Tucker. He's the goat in my eyes. Yes, he missed a field goal like a 40 some yarder. Crap happens. But 
he hit one, I think it was a 50-something, right before he missed that 40-something. But as long as we get playoff Tucker, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. So as I was saying, what y'all think the Ravens need to this bye week, what y'all think the, they need to improve on, need to work on, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe and God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the 4-4.